In this video, we are going to learn how you can manage your students' enrollment in Tutor LMS 3. So let's get started. To manage your students' enrollment, you'll need the help of the enrollment add-on. And as you know, the add-ons are only available in Tutor LMS Pro. So you have to get Tutor LMS Pro. Now, if you take a look at the pricing page of Tutor LMS, Tutor LMS Pro has annual and lifetime plans. Now, it doesn't matter which plan you purchase, you'll get all of the Pro add-ons, okay? We will provide the Tutor LMS pricing page link in the video description so you can get the plan you want. We have already got Tutor LMS Pro installed and activated on our experimental site. So let's visit our site's WordPress dashboard. From here, you have to visit the Tutor LMS add-ons section, then find and enable the enrollment add-on. Once done, refresh the page to get the enrollment option on the left sidebar. Now we are going to open the enrollment menu in our Tutor LMS powered site. And from here, you can see your student's enrollment. Currently, we have only one enrollment over here, which is our admin account. To enroll a student manually, what you can do is click on this enroll a student button. And the first thing that we have to do is click on select course. Currently, we have two courses on our website. One course is free and the other one is paid. First, we're going to see how you can do the manual enrollment in the free course. So we're going to select this course. Okay, this is selected. If you want, you can also replace it by clicking on this button. Then we're going to select a student. Once you click on this box, all the students will appear. Now we are going to select one student. If you want, you can also select more than one students. And once you're ready, you can click on enroll students. But we're going to remove these two students and only enroll this particular student. Now we're going to click on enroll students button and this student has been enrolled and you can see the progress over here. Its status is approved. Now what about a paid course? What if you want to manually enroll a student into a paid course? Let's see how that works. We're going to click on the enroll a student button. Then we are going to select course. And here is a paid course. We're going to select it. And this is a paid course. You can also choose the payment status, either paid or unpaid. We're going to choose the unpaid because the student hasn't paid for this course yet. Then we are going to select our student and click on enroll students. That's it. And after you are directed back to this screen, you're going to see this notification. Complete the enrollment. Manual student enrollment for this course has been initiated. To grant student access to the course, they must complete the payment online or you can mark the order as complete. So we can click on view orders and it's going to take us to this orders section. And here we can see the order. The payment status is unpaid and this status is incomplete. We can click on edit. And here we can mark this as paid if we want. Again, we can add comments for this order. And here we can see the payment methods. Currently, we don't have any payment methods included over here. We only have the manual payment method. We can also cancel this order if we want by clicking on this button. Now, once again, I want to go to the enrollment section. And here you can see that for the free course, the student was automatically enrolled and it was approved, but the paid course, its status is pending. So now I want to log in as our student and see how it looks from the front end. All right, so this is our student dashboard. Here we can take a look at the enrolled courses, active courses, complete courses, and we can see the courses in progress, okay? And if we go to the order history, we can see that an order has been added. Over here, we can see the name of the course, the date when this order was generated, and we can see the price and the status is incomplete. Now, since we don't have any payment method included over here, our student cannot actually pay for this course. But if you have any payment gateway such as PayPal or Stripe installed, our student can make the payment from here. Now, if you're using a manual payment method, we can receive the payment manually and then we can mark this one as paid. We can also write some notes if we want, and then we can mark as paid. Now, if we go to the enrollment section, we can see that the status has changed to approved. So that is how you can enroll your students manually. It is also possible to cancel the enrollment of an active student. For example, if I want to cancel the enrollment of this student from this course, what I can do is simply select it. From this drop down, I can select cancel and then I can click on apply. And then this message will suggest us to proceed with caution. So I'm going to click on yes, I'm sure. Now we can see that the status has changed to cancel. 
Now again, if we want, we can approve this student, so the cancellation will be changed to approved, or we can simply move on to the cancelled tab over here, and then select it, delete the enrollment of the student permanently. So that is how you can manage your students' enrollment in Tutor LMS 3. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.